Hello YouTubers, the Andrew Twiller is back here again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play the God of War Chains of Olympus on your Android device for it with optimal settings. The app that we're going to use is called PPSSPP. It's available both as a free version and as a gold version, as a paid version on the Google Play Store. The only difference between the two is that the gold version allows you to play without ads. However, if you watched my previous video, which you will see in the cards above, you can just block the ads with the free version and not have to pay anything. So, you downloaded the emulator. Now what do you do? The second thing that you want is to go ahead and download the ROM. I will include a link in the description for the ROM that I used. It is from uh, Emu Paradise. It is around a gigabyte, so it does take a while to download. And you'll need to extract the file uh, using either a zip, like a raw extractor on your PC or, or a file browser on your Android device. I recommend using ES File Explorer as it allows for easy zip file extraction. So now you have both the emulator and the ROM downloaded. What do you do now? Let's go ahead and open PPPP, PP, PPSSPP. And if you go to your storage, and oh, one more thing, go ahead and extract the ROM to a certain file, a uh, certain folder on your device. The folder is going to be under PVSP, and then game. Extract the, your ISO right there, and you'll see the Omega emblem. And let's go ahead and run the game. As you can see, I have an FPS bar on the top right corner, and it's running at a pretty good, pretty high frame rate. However, that will drop down to a lower frame rate once we, we get started, but we can raise it if we modify some settings. So let's, pr let's press the back button and go into settings. I will uh, leave a link in the description for optimal settings for both lower end devices and higher end devices. I uh, I use settings for high-end devices because I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 and it works fine for me. So let's go ahead and see some gameplay. I'll continue from a safe state since so I don't want to go into, into the introduction. Load state. And let's go as you can see, I'm running at around 26 FPS, which is basically the maximum FPS I can get on the Samsung Galaxy S5. However, if you have a more powerful device, like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the new Nexus 6 XP, you will be running at a much higher frame rates. But if you have something like, if you have a lower generation of the Samsung Galaxy or a uh, processor that doesn't have uh, uh, um, around 2 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz, you'll be stuck with low FPSs. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. That will, will greatly help this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you want more of this content, please subscribe.